Hey everybody, thanks for visiting us here at ArcleTexHomepage.com this morning. I'm meteorologist Josh Morris, and uh, probably the best chance of rain across the Arcletex all areas today. Unfortunately, there have been some locations that have missed the rainfall the last two days, and if that has happened to you, I think there's a decent chance you may see a shower as we move through the day today. Let's go ahead and show you uh, what we're expecting. Once again, we'll see that sunshine this morning, and the storms will pop start popping up south of I-20 later this morning and into the afternoon, but there is a cold front on the way to the northern Arcletex, which will bring higher rain chances for you today. Highs will be near normal, low to mid 90s, and we'll just continue to see that light south breeze today. As far as your temperatures this morning, about where we've been through the week here, starting out in the mid 70s, and uh, look at the sea breeze already in effect this morning, so we do have those thunderstorms kind of move, moving north of I-10 there, and we'll probably see some of that rain pop up across Toledo Bend later this morning and into the afternoon as well. The other thing today, northern Arkansas has just kind of missed out uh, on some of the uh, rainfall here the past few days. We do have that cold front moving to the south now, and and that will kind of just inch into the northern Arkletex as we go through the day today. So your rain chances will be a little bit higher this afternoon. You see future cast here showing the uh, partly to mostly cloudy skies through the middle of the day. Probably staying dry in uh, most locations through the lunch hour. But once we hit 2, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, those temperatures warm up and that air starts rising. There are those uh, afternoon scattered showers. And uh, you see that front moving into the northern Arkletex. So we may actually see uh, the sea breeze in the front kind of collide later today. And the uh, future cast showing that maybe between I. 20 and I-30, so may see some rain linger even past sunset tonight. I haven't seen that much over the past few days. Uh, one other thing today, severe storm risk just for that sliver of uh, Howard County and a little bit of McCurtain County as well with that front on the way, some cooler air aloft. We do have the potential here for a few high wind gusts today, maybe some large hail up in that severe weather outlook area. And Storm Prediction Center will issue another one this morning, and I honestly wouldn't be surprised if they uh, drew it a little further to the south here, so it may include uh, some more areas north of Interstate 30. But either way, just be on the lookout. Any thunderstorms today also will bring frequent lightning with them. Low to mid-90s uh, across East Texas, same thing, northwest Louisiana. See the temperatures uh, not too bad for late August, about where we should be and uh, upper 80s low 90s across southern Arkansas going 93 in Texarkana since that front will take uh, a little while longer to reach you. As far as the rain today fairly light amounts. Uh, not looking at a heavy rain here and as we go through the next seven days we do have uh, at least isolated to scattered rain chances each day so we like to see those one inch totals over the next seven days certainly uh, continue to help out with some of the burn bans and drought conditions and seven day forecast showing you the decent chance for some showers on Thursday. It may dry out a little bit. Ridge of high pressure builds in Friday, Saturday, and uh, kind of pushes the rain chances down to the coast there, but it looks like another disturbance in the Gulf of Mexico will bring us some increasing rain chances, at least early next week, should cool the high temperatures into the low 90s by next Tuesday.